In this video, I'm taking my Torx screwdriver and going through and just checking connections that were already previously made. I'm just going to be checking the ones that have this proper bit connection at the moment. So there's only a few to do, but let's just see if the torque setting was already correct or if it actually needed to be increased. All of these standard QO square D breakers have an inch pound setting of 36. So this one, this one, this one, this one and this one, and this one and this one are all modern and I should be able to go ahead and just check those to see how many of them were tight enough and how many of them were not. For those of you who haven't yet seen it, this is my Torx screwdriver made by Wea, and uh, I will link this in the description. This is a really expensive one. There are some good alternatives, including some Torx screwdrivers that are designed for like uh, gunsmithing and things like that. So I will link those in the description. This one's about $200. These are the components included. And I actually had to make a custom bit because it doesn't come with the bits with the particular one that I bought. A lot of the kits do come with the bits though, so in the description I'll link to one that comes with the proper 6mm hex bits. But I had to take a quarter inch and grind it down so that it would actually fit into this adapter here. Right here on this end, uh, you can see it's set to 10 inch pounds currently. We've got it set to 36 inch pounds. Uh, I believe you're supposed to set it back to the minimum setting, which is what I did when I was finished using it last time, that's why it's back at 10 again. So now 10, 12, let's crank it down until we get to 36. 32, 34, 36 inch pounds. So that's what this second screwdriver is for. Oh, gross. Now we take this part and put that into the screwdriver. I just torqued this one down. Uh, I'm actually doing a different video replace, and just replace this breaker. But I thought in the middle here, let's just check these old connections and see where they're at. So we'll start with this one right here. All right, there it finally snapped. It definitely was under torqued. There we go. That one was under torqued. This one I obviously already did. Let's just double check it. That one's good. Let me just double check these to make sure that they are the correct inch pound setting. 36 inch pounds. And I can see these two. 36 inch pounds. 36 inch pounds. So I'm pretty sure all of these are standard 36 inch pounds. This panel is off, by the way. These terminals at the top are live, but the main part of the panel here is already disconnected. I just wanted to point that out. That one definitely moved. Let's check this one now. A little bit of extra light there. I'm using my O-Pen flashlight. And, uh, alright, there we go. Alright, now let's check these. That one definitely was was good. Didn't seem to move. So that was good. Whoever did those torqued them down really nice. That one moved. That one moved. This one up here. That one moved quite a bit. And this one up here. There, that one. That one definitely moved as well. And there's one more back in there. 36 inch pounds. The same as the other ones. So we're going to snug up this bottom terminal down here. There we go. So, every single one, except for two, oops. <clears throat> I torqued this one down by hand, just guessing at first, and it was not tight enough. So I retorqued that one, that one's good to go. This one had to be tightened. This one was loose. These two were fine. Those ones were tight enough. Maybe over torqued, but they were not less than 36 inch pounds. This one moved, this one moved. 
both of the ones on this breaker moved and this one up here moved. So almost every single terminal that we torqued just now were not tight enough. So I'm gonna go through and just check our other terminals that are just a, a flat head just to make sure that they're nice and secure. But I can tell you just based on, oh man, that one was actually really loose. I would use this screwdriver, but my six, but I don't have the six millimeter hex adapter uh, for a flat just yet. So I'll be getting that. But for now, this is a lot better than nothing since we have this panel open. All these flat head ones, I'll just go ahead and hit by hand here quick. Oh, I cammed out. Hate that, hate it when that happens. All right. Okay, everything's torqued down nicely now. So I feel confident about everything that's in here. I don't know about you guys, but that's pretty surprising that that many of these terminals were not torqued down to the proper setting. So let me know, what are your guys' thoughts? Is that does that make you consider maybe that one of these should be in your tool bag? Even just like feeling what 36 inch pounds is like, like how tight am I really getting this stuff? Is it just like as tight as I can before the screwdriver pops off the terminal or, or what? So again, I'll link to this screwdriver in the description. I'll link to one that has the proper bits with it. And uh, I'll also link a few low cost options for torque screwdrivers, but I just thought this was kind of an interesting way to just kind of go over an existing panel, see if everything was tight enough or not. In this case, almost every single connection was not set to the specification that is marked on the breaker. Also note that a bunch of these older breakers with this flat uh, connection that we just hand torqued to see where they needed to be, uh, a lot of them don't even have markings on the side for what inch pound setting they were supposed to be at. So torquing stuff down isn't uh, something that has been done for a super long time, uh, but it's it's been quite a while since uh, they've been adding that specification. It's just that most people still aren't uh, following through and actually torquing things down. So we got our new breaker in and uh, we can reset that now. And then I'll put our panel cover on and then I'll turn on the power after that. So we'll see you guys later in the project when we get the drywall all completed and ready to go. Thanks for watching.